Okay, so this is my uh, Z4. It's an E89, uh, 2009. What I'm gonna do today is two things. I'm replacing the coil packs as well as swapping out the spark plugs. So you could use this for reference on either. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm pulling a misfire on cylinders one and three. And it's got 103,000 miles on it. Really common for the coil packs to go bad around this time. So it's due. And so I'm gonna do the litter of them, all six, but I'm gonna hit one and three first and I'll show you how I do that. Um, the very first thing it, to note is that all the stuff is gonna be right under here. You remove the, the cover here. Um, I've already pulled out the bolts. There's four, one, two, three, and then there's one here right on the side, four, right here. Okay, with that in place, with that done, we can remove the cover, so hang on. Okay, so removing the cover. Pretty straightforward, just grab it and slide it out. That's all there is to it. On the bottom side, you'll notice there's some insulation and things like that. Nothing dramatic, I'm just gonna set that off to the side. Okay, so now that we've slid the valve cover off, you can see the coil packs. The coil packs are these guys, one, two, three, four, five, and six. With my particular setup, um, five is sort of obscured by these wires. And six is obscured a little bit by this uh, this brace. I may or may not have to remove each one of these. It depends. These uh, I can it looks like I can unplug them or something. This one I might be able to snake around the side, but if not, it shouldn't be too hard. But removing that brace looks like I'll do have a bolt here and a bolt up there. But one and three are the ones that are giving me problems. So let me show you how to replace that one first. It's the same on every single one of them, so it's just repeating the same sequence for this. The very first thing you do is you Flip up this tab. Okay, so it just pops up. I'm gonna pull this up, pull out while I lift. Pop this out. You can pull it out different ways, but I just like pulling it straight with a bar. So I'm using this screwdriver, pops it straight up. This one's old and bent. It was made in 2009, uh, April, uh, the third day. Next, we're gonna get that uh, spark plug out. Okay, so with the Pull back out. Let me show you where the spark plug is. You can see it right in there. See that shine right in there? That's your spark plug. So to get to that, we'll just need a socket and a long extension to reach down in there. Not too complicated, but I did buy a 14 millimeter uh, magnetic thin walled socket just for this. And also a point of note, uh, the BMW original plugs are 12 sided, 12 pointed. So. I'm gonna grab that socket, we'll drive it in there and we'll pull them out. Okay, so this is my socket. Uh, if you can make it out, it's 12 sided just like the spark plug I'm taking out. It also has a magnetic ring to hold it. I have it on a long extension, wow, far longer than I need. But uh, now we're gonna loosen this up. Okay, and there's our old spark plug. There's a couple things I'm noticing about the spark plug right now, and they all make sense to me, is one, it's very black. Two, it's wet and smells like fuel. And that makes sense to me because the coil pack, I think, died. And when the coil pack died, the injector is still squirted in fuel, but they just didn't burn it. Okay, so this is the new plug we're gonna be putting in. These ones are Bosch, original manufacturer, tripong on the bottom. No gap you need in that you come ready. Okay, and then I've got my socket. Nice thing is it's magnetic, so you can just dump it in there, and then it's not gonna fall out. So now I can thread it in there. And when I say thread it in there, I'm gonna put it down in there and I really am, and I'll take off my socket to show you. I'm just gonna do it hand tight because you don't wanna cross thread this type of stuff, you know? So if it takes a lot of effort, you're probably doing it wrong. So get it set in there first before you start wrenching. All 
Okay, spark plugs in there. Next, I'm gonna get a new coil pack and we'll put that on there. Okay, here's the new one and the old one. You notice they look almost identical. The bottom one is the new one. This one is the old one, it's sort of bent. Um, I, I'll probably make another video where I talk a little bit more about why, why I chose these versus metal, uh, exposed metal ones. But I got these Bosch ones. One of the things I wanted to point out is they're identical because they're OEM type of stuff. But if you look, if you can read it here, if you got Bosch OEM 01 on this, and here you have 090430. Okay, I read that in European as being 2009, which is the year the car was manufactured, April 30th. That's how old this is. So this is the original coil pack. This one right here that I just picked up, you can read this one, Bosch, OEM again, right above that, 1805. Seven. So this was made in 2018 uh, in May, and it would be on the seventh day of May. So these ones are brand new. They were made this year. So to install it, really simple. We're going to arrange it so it's looking towards the plug again. And also, there's this notch right here on the side you might be able to make out. Hang on, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there's a notch here. That notch is going to line up with this here. So you get it aligned and then just push it down until it pops on. That's great. Okay, and then to feed in the connector, the connector goes in, you push it in, as you push it in, it pushes that down. Simultaneously push in and lock that down itself. Great. Okay, that's it. That's how you replace the coil pack. Real simple. Okay, here we have all six. Brand new in there, new spark plugs. New coil packs. Just for reference on the back too, I didn't have to remove the, the crossbar. My long enough extension made it so I could get to all of them. There you go. Next, I'll just slap on the engine cover and we're done.